My earliest memory of a library is the elementary school library we had at my school in uh, Hollywood, Florida, which was St. Mark's Lutheran School. And it was called the Lion's Den. The lions were the mascot of our school. And uh, it, you know, in, in retrospect, looking back on it, it was probably about half the size of, of a classroom. But my memory walking into it in kindergarten was I had never seen so many books in one place before. And so uh, my parents had always fostered in me a, a great love of reading as I was growing up. And so here was a, a place where I could find all of these books and, and read them over the course of my entire you know, time at that school over the years, um, whereas you know, I wouldn't be able to purchase them myself. So um, those are my earliest memories of my life. Do you go to the library with your family at all? I do. They just opened up a brand new library. Um, near my home in, in Forsyth County, Georgia, just a few months ago. And so we, uh, we took uh, the kids there, my wife and I took the kids there just a few weeks back. And um, you know, it was wonderful to see it. And they had a, a, a little kids area, reading area, with computers and games for literacy and things like that. And my three-year-old just stepped right up to it. I've, I'd never even seen him on a computer before. He stepped right up to it, and it was all very intuitive for him. And to just see him working the computer in that way and playing these games and very quickly he sort of was like go away dad like he felt like such a like a big boy uh, doing all this on his own and working his little mouse and, and doing these literacy games so uh, it was a great uh, great thing to see you know like I say my earliest memories being from when maybe I was just maybe a year or two older than he is now uh, to have the opportunity to take my children and, and maybe they're going to look back on it and remember the library the same way I did so for me, a big part of writing is you will hear a lot of people say if you don't write every day you're not a writer or, or something along those lines, but I think it's different for everybody and for me if I'm sitting down at the computer and it's just not coming to me today, I'm going to go out and, and try to get influences and read materials, be they magazines, periodicals or, or books or whatever have you because maybe some of these other influences that I bring in is, are going to be what jars something loose or some you know, nonfiction piece of reportage that you read in a newspaper or a magazine or, uh, you know, a scholarly book about, uh, uh, you know, some kind of study or whatever have you, these things will come back down the line. So it's, it's a bit circuitous. I may not go there with the intent of, of solving an issue I have with the book I have at the moment, but something I experience through one of those avenues will come back around and maybe even spark an idea down the road. I mean, I'm not an economist, but I mean, to me, it seems like uh, libraries are, are just an essential part of, of our culture and in so many ways they provide resources to people that can't afford those resources on their own whether it be access to the internet you know, uh, you know doing internet searching and things like that or or books or you know subscriptions to magazines and newspapers that you might not be able to afford the library is able to provide those for everybody so to me um, you know, like education, it's one of the last areas where you should see those those types of budget cuts. You know, uh, we need to really preserve that and, uh, and and keep that for future generations. So we make sure that as much information is available as possible to everybody, whether they can afford it or not. What are your thoughts on on book challenges and, and attempts to ban books? Yeah, it, it isn't something I've ever experienced myself. But my general rule has always been that if if you don't want to you know, read something or hear something or whatever, don't look at it or listen to it, you know? I mean, that's what choice is all about. And there are varied tastes for everybody and, and what someone wants to read or listen to might not be what somebody else wants to read or listen to, but that's what the library is for. You can go there and somewhere in that library are the things that you do want to read and the things that you do want to listen to. So go seek those out and let the people who want to seek out others seek out what they want to seek out. Uh, my current project is I'm adapting all of the Percy Jackson and the Olympians novels uh, into the graphic novel format for Hyperion. And I am also uh, have my own uh, graphic novel coming out in, a, in about two weeks called The Homeland Directive from Top Shelf Productions, which is more of a modern day uh, uh, conspiracy political thriller for, a, for an older age group, not for a Percy Jackson.